Okay, so at this point we should have all of our courses and the classes all set up. Um, and we've got our five students entered into the app. You can see them right here. Um, and we have two classes. So now you're ready to start actually scanning tests. Um, but the first thing you need to do is scan the key in so that the app knows uh, what the right answers are. So the first thing that we're going to do is just go to scan keys. Um, and we're going to go ahead and select new scan key. Um, you'll see the live screen pop up here. And you want to go ahead and make sure it's aligned in there and hit the green check mark. Um, and it's going to process that key. And you'll see that uh, we've chosen uh, test ID 111. Um, and that's uh, something that I um, should have maybe said before. Make sure that you have chosen a test ID um, a unique test ID to whatever test you're going to use. It can be any number, but just make sure that you've picked one and bubbled that onto your test key. Um, this is version A. You want to go ahead and click here where it says it's uncategorized. Um, and again here, so that we can select that this was for our chemistry class here. Um, so you'll pick what, cor what course it's for, and then you'll select Done. Um, then we'll hit Save here. And in the description, um, you can enter anything you want. You can say what the name of the test was or what the name of the quiz is or if it's a final. So uh, for this, we're just going to say sample test one. Um, but you can pick any description you want. And it just makes it a little bit easier to tell what the test was instead of um, having to know what it is based only on the number that you picked for it. Um, so you can see we've got 30 results, zero ignored results, um, and then if you wanted to, you could hit the preview button right here, um, and you can actually go down and look at your key here um, and just see all the answers that are, that are there. Um, but for now, we're good with that, so we're just going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. Um, and you can see we've got our key, um, key entered in here for sample test one. So at this point, once we have our key actually entered into the app, um, we can go ahead and start scanning the student tests. So uh, we're going to go back to the home screen, um, and we're going to choose Scan Test. Um, and the live screen is going to pop up here again, and you'll just take a picture, wait for it to focus for a second, and take a picture. Um, and it should grade that test. And this is Peter Parker. He got a 93%, 28 out of 30 um, for chemistry on that test 111A. Now, again, if you want to look at the whole test, you can go to preview. Um, and you can scroll down. And you can see what all the responses were here. Um, this had zero ignored answers. And if you have ignored answers, that tab will turn red. And what the ignored answers mean um, are usually the student did a bad job bubbling it. Or maybe they left it blank so the app couldn't even find an answer for it, which happens sometimes. Um, or if it got um, really, if you had really bad glare in the room, glare off the responses, and it'll it'll think that they didn't bubble anything. Um, or you can go into the results tab here, um, and on that you can actually go down the line and see um, all the actual responses that they picked there. So we're just going to go back up, and we're going to hit the green check mark. Um, and so we're done with Peter, so we'll just move that one aside, and we'll go ahead and scan the next one. Okay, so again, Adam got an 80%, and as long as we don't want to look at his test, we can just hit the check mark, and we'll go to the next one. Um, it's a good idea to let it focus like that. 83% for George Washington. Um, and we're good with that, so we'll hit the check mark. So once you kind of get the hang of it, you can sort of move through the tests a little bit more quickly. And LeBron got a 96, and you'll notice that for none of them, uh, or for all of them, we had no ignored responses, which is a good thing. Um, and so uh, that's how you um, scan all the tests. Now, if we want to go back, now you can see we've got our five tests scanned here. If we want to go back in and look at the scores or 
um, look at any of the score reports, we would just go into the scores area here. Um, and this was for our first hour chemistry class. Um, and you can see, right, these are the tests that we just scored. It's got all their scores down here. Um, if you want to look at an individual student's test again, like if I want to look at LeBron's test, I could click on that. And again, we come back to this screen where you can do the same stuff. You can look at the whole test, the ignored answers, or the results. Um, and either way, um, you can look at that. And then if you're good with that, just hit the check mark. If you hit the X, it will delete the test if you say yes. Um, if you have multiple tests in here, or once you have multiple tests, you can scroll left and right. We've only done one test so far, so we can't do that right now. But you would push these buttons to scroll between your tests. Um, and if we go up to the very top, um, we've got some data right here, but if you want to get a little bit more in-depth statistics, you can click on this little pie right here. And what that does is it generates um, individual student reports for the students. Um, and you can see um, this is the report for George Washington. Um, it shows you the correct responses, the wrong responses that he picked, the numbers for the questions that he missed, that's the test. Um, you got a 25 out of 30. And then it also gives you some data about what were the top missed questions, what were the ones everyone's getting right, what's the class average, um, and that kind of stuff. And if you want to hand those back to the students, you can. You can print multiples of them on a page um, so that you can save a little bit of paper there. But that's a little bit more in depth um, as far as the scores go. So um, once you get here, then you basically um, know how to use the app. You've got all your students entered, you know how to scan keys, you know how to scan tests, and you know how to look at the data. And now um, the biggest thing is just using it uh, whenever you want to and being able to get that analysis and getting that, that feedback, especially um, you know the, the answers they're picking and, and sort of the top missed questions and stuff like that so you can uh, adjust your instruction. Um, so that's it. And we will have one more video um, that will show um, some of the more common errors and things you might encounter just uh, sort of troubleshooting. So um, if you want to, go ahead and watch that video next.